Hello everybody, my name is Isaiah Taylor of the Autistic Modeler Society and this is part two of my Space Station Freedom build tutorial and in this video we're going to be discussing how I am able to make these wonderful solar panels. So it's, you know, of course as you know um, when you're in space you need power to generate excuse me, you need power and electricity to run your instruments and your machines and things like that. So how do you get power up there? Well, solar panels. And for my space station, um, I have developed a wide assortment or created a wide assortment of solar panels for the different parts of the station. So as I basically said earlier, um, in the last video, um, one, of the f one of the first iterations of the Space Station Freedom Project included a large integrated truss, which would support these, which would support um, large solar panel wings. So, if you've ever seen pictures of the International Space Station, the one that's the one that the Freedom eventually would morph into, you would see these really large. Um, solar paneled wings on either side of the main truss. So I plan to do that with this kit also. So as you can see I've already painted several of these solar panels um, which came as part of a 1144 power satellite kit which is what this is. So, with that, what I did was I took one of, or at least, sorry, I took both the solar panels out of the kit and we'll be using them for the integrated truss, which is what they look like when they come out of the box. So I call this a rib because it looks like rib, like a like a rib platter, if you will. That's just my brain. Um, so they come in one whole set of three, which includes six panels separately. And of course, on this end, they do have the supports if you were indeed building just just the satellites themselves. We're not building just the satellites themselves, we're, we're taking the solar panels um, from that satellite, or at least from this kit, excuse me. Now, I will build one of these power satellites when we get to the trust section, the trust section, which is going to be in my third video which is going to be um, coming up probably sometime next week in which I'm going to show you how I built the truss or the truss assembly. So we have our bare um, solar panel wings or ribs. So here is, so now that we have that as a reference this is how they will look after I'm done painting them. Just like that. Very cool, huh? So there's the back, and there's the front, and of course there's the white siding on the sides. White, some of them. Then I chose a more goldish yellow siding here. So, how did what did I use to paint to paint and to paint these solar panels? Well, so I actually actually had two two options. Solar panels are usually either black, like a metallic graphite black, or a metallic blue. And of course, as you can see over there, there's the Krylon metallic blue. So I chose some Krylon metallic blue over here and Testor's metallic graphite black over here. Okay, so we got the graphite blue, I mean, excuse me, the metallic blue and the graphite black. And then of course, for the sightings, 
I either did, I either used some, um, cr some Rust-Oleum or Krylon, uh, flat white. Or I used, um, some Krylon, um, Krylon Gloss Bauhaus Gold. I guess that's how you pronounce that. Right there. Okay. And for these solar panels here, which are going to go on where the modules are going to be, I used I use the metallic black, but then I also bordered it with some satin colonial red rustoleum. Okay. And I and and what I did for cuz after after once you once you get done painting it, and once you get done putting the adding the red stripes on, you can then go over with either um you can clear up some of the some of the irregulars with some uh, acrylic red paint for the for the rims or metallic blue testers paint for the blue panels or oh, sorry for the for, for the some of the solar panels actually for the blue ones should I say and a gloss black for the black solar panels which are these and then when all when all that's said and done, I want to add more to the shine by applying some gloss, super gloss sealer finish, which is what I do there. Oh, here's some yellow paint if I need to touch up the sides on the solar on some of these solar panels. Okay. It's imperative to use the super gloss finish as opposed to just the regular clear gloss or semi gloss clear because you want your solar panels to be very shiny. So you want to use this. Okay. Now, I will also, now in the next clip, I will show you how I apply the sides, the gold or yellow sides to my solar panels. Okay. Now, what I did was I designed a small little sketch of where the solar panels are all going to be. So in this diagram, there, so the, the solar panels here and some back there are going to provide the main power um, supply for the three science, I mean, for the three space center, space operations center kits that are going to go here. This is going to be where the manufacturing and the processing of space materials happens, which is going to be where these three, where these three prongs are, Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, are going to be science, space operations centers, Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, respectively, obviously. And this here is the main truss the integrated main truss and these dotted lines are going to represent the radiators so that there's going to be radiator panels here here and underneath the the integrated trusses in this area and in this area over here so as you can see like I said earlier these are going these um these 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 solar rays are going to be positioned along the lot latitude excuse me, latitude 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 truss that's going to make up the main space station body 
So just like here, and just like, of course, on our um, International Space Station. Okay, so those are what these solar panels represent here. So there's about eight panels on each side, or four individually, and of course that's not even counting the fact that these panels are also broken down into two panels per pair. Okay, so that's the front, and then in the back, where the so what you don't see are um, are going to be the crew modules. So imagine these are crew modules here, over here, and living quarters. And I'm going to have um, two really big panels um, or arrays in the back, which are what these two are here, and are what these babies are going to be right here. So imagine these two connected like that now that right that brings me whoops that brings us to our next little conundrum how are we going to connect how are we going to connect these bad boys to the truss and the power satellite transformer by the way, the power satellite transformer is what this little baby is. It actually was part of the space satellite kit or this, the power satellite kit, which is what that is right here. This is a different. This is a different one. This actually came in a sat power satellite with a shuttle. When, and if you actually see the thumbnail, the Space Shuttle Enterprise was that was that shuttle. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna so for the trust video, which is gonna be part three, I'm going to have that. Um, I'm gonna have this part here connected to part of the ISS truss or the ISS truss that came with the ISS kit rather and I'm going to combine that truss with this power satellite and have your solar panels sticking out from that and the only way to do that to get the solar panels sticking out from that were the where the um, connector strut is not compromised because it's plastic will be with the use of aluminum rods. Aluminum or brass rods um, I forgot how many millimeters this is but I had it calipered therefore I didn't get it too big or too small and so basically what you do is here's the solar panel Here's the end of the rod. You would also have to cut it with a Dremel saw to make sure you get a pretty good sized piece cut. You don't want it cut way too big and you don't want it cut too small because actually you are you're going to stick this, you're gonna I'm gonna drill holes into this satellite and slide this tube through it to the other end. So you can have solar panels sticking out on each end. So, for example, this is how you would connect. You would connect it like that, and you see how it's in there. Um, I'm going to super glue it inside, but so I'm going to glue, I'm going to super glue the end end peg into the hollowed aluminum tube like that. But the tube itself will, I'm going to figure out a way to allow it to pivot up and down when I slide it through here. But that's not till episode 3 or video 3 when I detail, um, when I detail putting that piece together. Okay? And then we also have, I have a smaller one, and the smaller ones are going to be for, so, for the 
the main arrays like this. It's a bit, it's a bit loose right now, but you get the picture. Um, these are actually the, these individual panels themselves are actually um, are actually part were actually part of this at one point, but I broke them down for the smaller panels that are going to go in the front. Okay, so how do I actually develop this? Well, here, well, here you go. So here, here's your flat piece, your flat rib, your solar rib, and then I painted it in this color, in this Krylon Fusion metallic blue paint. Um, did that one or two coats? One or two coats is good. You don't really need a lot. One or two are are pretty good. Um, because again, it, it is black, so you don't really need that many coats because it's a black surface and a glossy black surface at that. And then I and then to get the um, the borders here, like the, the the fringes, the border edges, is I took some five millimeter Tamaya masking masking tape. You can find this at your local hobby store. Um, applied it to applied the tape to where you see the corrugated the corrugated material measured it off in five measured it off in a bit um, uh, sorry what I mean what I meant to say was I basically took some five millimeter tape put it on and measured it to make sure that it was covering most if not all the corrugated spots as you can see the corrugated spots where the ridges are and the non corrugated spots are where it's just regular plastic did that and then taped it on all here this has actually already been done and basically just used the masking tape taped it on and then once dry, once you put a coat of the gold on, then begin to gradually peel it away. I've actually used the same paint, the same, excuse me, the same tape for actually all of this. So, I, so all, all of this that you see here, I actually used the same paint, I mean the same tape, masking tape, over and over and over again. Then this side, same thing, like so. Notice that there are some imperfections and impurities and that's why it's good to then paint over that with the Tamaya metallic paint or the gloss paint or just the regular paint for the sides painting over some of the some of the the bleed throughs or at least the spill not really spills or bleed throughs but where the paint kinda got onto the the yellow paint got onto some of the metallic Okay, so I have just explained to you how I will assemble the solar panels, um, and I and how I'm going and where I'm going to place them, and how I'm going to connect them. So basically, use base paints like this on something like that, metallic blue or or metallic black, whichever, and then for the other part of the effect. I would then tape on, I would then use masking tape, 5 millimeter masking tape, cover up much of the corrugated plastic, and then choose my desired um, fringe paint, for, I mean paint for the fringes, sometimes it's white, sometimes it's a dark red, or sometimes it's a golden yellow. And that's how I paint my solar panels. Okay, so in the next video, I will be detailing how I'm going to build the truss and the power satellites.
connecting. There's going to be two power satellites. So this is going to be one on the left side, and I'm going to make another one for the right side, but we're only using two. As you can see, it has a radiator and already a communication disk dish right there. I also like added some little details here, but that was just a personal adage per my dis per my discretion. Okay, so season three is going to be all about the trusses, and then uh, not season three, episode three is going to be about the trusses, and then four will be the power oper building the science the space science operations centers as I said are gonna go here and then four will be the, the living and crew modules and then five will be final assembly will be final assembly and reviews so yeah so I will see you guys then bye